Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm back at you with another video, man. New media, notification game. God squad, swears, man. Look, check this out. Dig this. T a female motherfucking hoe ass Lopez, bro. That bullshit comment you said about Josh Taylor, bro. It's cap. Cap. You on some punk bitch po hoe ass shit, bro. For you to compare Josh Taylor, right, to you fighting for City Lomachenko is some of the most biggest, most bogus piece of bullshit I have ever heard amongst God and all of captivity, bro. Like, that's some, that's some shit I expect somebody like Wilder to say. Not you, homie. For one... Lomachenko, I picked you to beat Lomachenko for one main reason. Not because of skill set, bro. Because skill wise, bro, Loma better than you. Skill wise. Right? It was literally, bro, your, your size. Loma, a little nigga. So that was really, and you got pop. You super bigger than Loma, and you got punching power. That was enough for me, along with your skill set. So, actually, honestly, it was three things. Your skill set, along with your size and your punching power. Those three things trump all that shit because Loma's so fucking little. He don't got the pop to really to get your respect like that. He got the skill that you got to respect because he could set you up with shit and, and, and probably outpoint you. So you got to fight a smart fight. But as far as blow for blow, pop for pop, you had him beat in that department. So he didn't want to go blow for blow. Like he said, he wanted to take you into the later into deep waters and drown your ass. That failed. That shit didn't work. Because he got you in the deep waters. It just took him, it just took longer than what he thought it took to get you in the deep waters. Which was, that's his game plan gone wrong as far as Lomachenko is concerned. But that shit you said about Josh Taylor, bro, cap. 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 You not finna walk Josh Taylor down like that. Real rap. You not walking Josh Taylor down like that. You're not finna run up on Josh Taylor like that. That's a bigger, stronger dude. And Josh Taylor gonna make you respect him. He's he's knocking down 140-pound dudes. Dudes that's walking around at 150, 160, probably 170 pounds. You a little nigga. You probably walk around at the most maybe 150 because you don't want to get too big in between fights. So at the most, you might walk around at about 150. And you got the nerve to think you finna outbox or bully Josh Taylor. And then you want to say that the motherfucker was talking about running up to Walter White. Bro, the nigga said one name. One name. Terrence Bud Crawford. He didn't say nothing about... I don't want to campaign at 47. Now I want to go to 47 beyond speed. He didn't say nothing about that. He said, I wouldn't mind entertaining a fight with Bud Crawford. Because Bud Crawford was the last person to be undisputed at 140 pounds before me. And he's still active. So I wouldn't mind getting it in with that dude. What the fuck wrong with that? Then the man even said, I do got unfinished business. Let me handle that. And you mad at the man because he want to do that? You ain't, even, you ain't even in his division. We still disputing if you supposed to be undisputed. So if you undisputed, why are we disputing the shit? Tia Fimo, Josh Taylor is undisputed. There is nobody. There's Josh Taylor. When we talking 140, Josh Taylor. There's nobody above him. There's nobody on par with him. 140 to 140 pound division belongs to Josh Taylor. There is nobody else holding no real estate in that division. Just like in the welterweight division. Nobody owns that division. Too many people got real estate. 
You're not finna bully Josh Taylor. That's not gonna happen. And you still got unfinished business at lightweight. You still got to fight Devin Haney, and I still got to see how this is finna turn out. Because you're not undisputed. You're not done. You ain't cleared the division. You ain't fought everybody that there is to fight in the division. And to be real with you, my dude, Josh Taylor did that already. You ain't did that yet. You fought really one big name at lightweight. One. You fought a couple of good contenders and one big name. In one major fight. That's it. Josh Taylor's a super six, super series winner. He's a, undis like he didn't did some stuff at 140 pounds. You still got stuff to do. And within the amount of time that Josh Taylor has been in boxing versus you, Josh Taylor with the same, pretty much got the same amount of fights as you. And he still has done more in boxing than you. You still got work to do, son. So before you start talking about people ducking you and that's what they're going to do, they're going to move up, you ain't even done doing what you need to do at 135 pounds to even be thinking about talking about Josh Taylor. So all this shit you talking is cap. Cap. Beat Devin Haney. Clear your division. Really be the undisputed where can't nobody dispute if you undisputed. That's what makes you undisputed. You cannot dispute that Josh Taylor is the man at 140 pounds. How? He got every belt. What y'all gonna say? He need the IBO? Which don't nobody give no Fs about? He is the dude. You not the dude. You are one of the dudes. So until you beat the other guy that's considered to be the dude, you ain't the dude. Get it together, T.O., because for real, for real, I like you, bro. And on some real talk, bro, I do believe you could beat Devin Haney based on what I seen what Jorge Linares was able to do with Devin Haney. I think you could get him. I do. But the shit you on with Josh Taylor, cap. Cap. Help. And I can't I can't fuck with you on that shit, bro. I can't fuck with you on that one. I can fuck with you with the Devin Haney shit. Just at first, nah, I was like, cause I was really rocking with Devin. But seeing him with this Jorge Lenares fight, it's like, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I'm just calling it down the middle from what I see, bro. If Tia Fimo catch you with them, mm mm. And he ain't Tia Fimo not gonna you no know, let 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 you hold him like that. He ain't gonna be that type of fight. I know Tio when you when you see blood you go for the kill. I know that shit. I see that, and I don't see you letting him hold you like that. So I give you props on that. But this one forty business, you cap.